morning guys good morning good morning good morning this is rebecca the diva coming at you um just a little get ready with me little chit chat as you can see i started off my morning with a little facial wash routine um just use a regular facial scrub that i picked up at the local walmart uh, i think it's by l'oreal i'm not super sure i got this a while ago right now i'm just gonna apply my makeup um just wanted to get at you guys a little bit i wanted to talk a little bit about um men in today's society who don't like to pay child support yeah i'm sure there's a lot of us ladies out here and some guys too don't want to discriminate um who want the other parent to co-parent in the right way you know and um Unfortunately, there's a lot of men out there who will make children and think, I guess, it's hilarious or funny to not help the other parent, you know, in supporting the child. Um, I was in a relationship with someone for almost 10 years, and unfortunately, you know, things happened, and we had decided to, um, if you see me looking that way, I'm just trying to look in my mirror, the tip of my camera. But um, we decided that things were not working out and um, just decided to, um, you know, separate. And this, this, of course, was like five, six years ago, I think. So about 2013, all of this had happened. And um, for the most part, when we first separated, um, we had two children together, a boy and a girl. He took the boy, I took the girl. And it worked out that way for um, a couple of years without a problem. And then, um, I don't know, my son called me. I was like, hey, mom, I want to come live with you. So I said, okay, no problem. You can come stay with me. I go get my son. And, um, bring him back to the state that I was living in at the time. You know, and, um, we had agreed that, okay, yeah, you'll send me money every month for the kids. And for about a good six months, that was working. You know, so no one had to go to the courts, no one had to be nasty, none of that. And then he would slack off, you know, it would be every other month, and then months would go by and I would get no money. So finally, I got tired of that situation, and I went to the courts and filed for child support. And this was about 2017, is when I first opened up my claim and back was enforced to court and he's moving from state to state so that kind of made it difficult for them to track him down or get a good address for him things like that and in between time you know he's still on and off on and off sending money and not sending money sending money not sending money so I mean it is what it is you know I'm the type of person very independent and I do what's best for me and my children so I'm not going to sit around and just wait for a court to you know issue money for my children's care I go to work I go to work every day work a full-time job and I support my children myself I don't beg anybody for anything you know point blank simple period so finally about a week and a half ago, I get this letter in the mail, okay, from the county where he lives in the other state. And it's a thick, thick envelope um, from child support enforcement. I'm like, oh, great, this must be my court order. And then in my mind, I'm like, how can I get a court order? I didn't go to court, you know, because the last time he lived in one state and we did the court by phone. And he didn't show up, so... They threw out the whole case and then he moved and all that, you know. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. So I, I open up the thick old packet and reading through it and yeah, the judge awarded me zero dollars and zero cents. Really? I have two children. They're ages 14 and 10, okay? They're, that's a long way from age 18. And I'm like, so then I'm going through reading and basically the his dad contested okay the court order and the judge and I'm not trying to be funny but the judge the name on the paperwork was a male he basically ruled in his favor and I'm like where do they do that at 
you know, I'm like, I work hard, and I'm like, I'm not knocking anybody, but I look, if I was sitting back receiving welfare benefits, then they would have gave me a big judgment and then took took half the money or all the money and then gave me fifty dollars for the month for my kids because I'm on I'm receiving benefits. But in my case, I work every day, work hard every day to support my children, and I get zero dollars. And granted, the father of my children does not work, but he is on disability. He receives SSI and SSD. And for those of you who don't know what those are, SSI is Supplemental Social Security Income, and SSD is Supplemental Social Security um, Disability. So he gets regular well, SSI check a month and a, a permanent disability check, and he's getting over $2,000 a month. So I'm like, you're sending $100 here, $50 there, $200 there. My kids are big kids. Had they been like little, I'd probably be able to get by without, you know, a large sum of money. But the older they get, the more they cost. And that's what a lot of people don't seem to understand. You know, my son for Christmas wanted some Air Jordans. And it was like $150. My son is 14 in a size 10 and a half men's shoe. Like, for real? But, you know, it was a sacrifice. But I did it, you know. Um, another thing is... He didn't seem to realize that had he complied with them, gave them all of his income, he probably wouldn't have even been paying $200 a month. But now, I'm forced to be vicious, and yeah, I'm going to call you every five minutes and ask you for money, as my kids need it, and that's just how I feel, you know. I mean, am I wrong? You know, just comment below on how do you think I should feel about the situation um i'm definitely going to go back to child support and try to redo the case again like i said my kids are still young you know they're only 14 and 10 going to be 11 soon and you know i need the help you know i'm just being honest you know it's hard and i'm not finished you know with my schooling as of yet i'm going to school for nursing so you know, it's a struggle. You know, the job that I make, I, I make, you know, less than $12 an hour. I, I do, I am blessed because I do have a job and I, um, I do get a lot of hours. You know, so I'm grateful for that. But, you know, it's like every, every dime that I make goes to basically pay the bills. And to keep these kids from being homeless in the industry. Because I was homeless once upon a time. I was living with somebody once upon a time. You know, I was in a shelter once upon a time. You know, and he knows all of this, but, you know. I guess when the relationship ended, he re ended his relationship basically with children also. You know, it sucks, you know, because he's the one that's missing out. We've been separated since 2013, and he saw them. Came to visit them actually like one time. You know, which, like I said, I see my kids every day, so it doesn't make me a difference. I don't care. You know, that's his loss. Mm -hmm. And guys, I do not know what I'm doing really when it comes to putting on makeup. So do not come for me. Okay. I'm new at this. I normally don't wear makeup because um, my skin is flawless. And I'm not just saying that to be conceited, but I have very, very good skin. I am almost 50 years old, and I never really had acne. I think maybe I would get a pimple here or there. You know, like I look at my two older girls, you know, they're 22 and 20, and they stay with acne, like, all the time. They drink soda, eat chocolate, and bum, 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 bum. I eat, so eat chocolate, drink soda, and my skin is just smooth like a baby's body. And it's always been that way, always. Through puberty, all of that. But anyways, to sum this up, if you make children with someone, then you need to take care of these children, you know, financially. And my thing is, it doesn't always have to be large sums of money. You got $20, hey, take that $20, put it in a card, and send it to your kids. Simple as that, because with some kids, the littlest things make a big difference. You know, it's like, hey, my mom, my dad, they thought about me. You know, so that's that little scenario. I just feel it's just unfair that a lot of us have to work so hard and take care of our children by ourselves, you know, and we didn't make them by ourselves. So that's the, that's, that's the deal. That's the deal. Just stuff it, you know, but just comment down below on what you think.
you know, am I being fair? You know, I don't want to seem like I'm just going to be digging off in his pockets, but at this particular point in time in my life, I don't really care. That's what I'm going to, if that's what I have to do to make sure my kids are going to eat, you know, then, hey, I have to do what I have to do. Blank, blank, simple, period. But, um, thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so every time that I upload, you guys will definitely see my videos. And you guys have a really, 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 really blessed day. I'm going to finish up what I'm doing here so I can wake up my son because it's time for him to go to school and get myself to work. All right? So, see you guys in the next video.